Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Ha <laughs> ha, little pink princess dragon. Ooh, I love pink. Yay! <laughs> and what's today? Boxy charm. Yep. It's Glammy Day, Boxy Charm. All right, so let's go get that box. While we're waiting for Glammy to get the box, um, my eyes, I have my white peaches, white peach palette by Too Faced. Y'all know how much I love my Too Faced, and Lord have mercy, it smells like peaches okay peach it, it truly does like truly okay um what else am i doing here uh hank and henry for the eyeliner if you can even still see it and the mascara we actually got some eyeliner we're gonna put on over top of this and the lips let me tell you what this is the most awesome lipstick i love this lipstick this is melted matte by Too faced Mwah. gingerbread man it not only smells like gingerbread it tastes like gingerbread holy scumoly yum yikes and everything in between really really yummy i am just loving that okay what do you say little goat here he comes with the boxy charm okay <laughs> whoa he jumped <laughs> where did you go where did you go? All the way on the floor. Goats will do that. All right. Try again. <laughs> okay. Let us see what is in the box. <sighs> like back to the little box, you know? <laughs> when this box came, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so tiny. But... I actually, I have some of the older boxes, and I compared it, and it's the same regular size box. You know, it's just that we've been getting such humongous boxes lately that... <gasps> I don't have my third eye. Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. I cannot believe... Have mercy. I had to actually go find it. Like, seriously. Here it is. Okay, they're doing a lot of talking about the premium box. <clears throat> the premium box is a new box that is going to have, I think they said eight items that are full size. It's going to be a $35 box. It is a separate entity from the BoxyCharm regular base box. Um, like, you're not going to be able to get your boxy lux without the base box you know but <clears throat> eventually you will be able to get the premium without the base box so here's how that starts in order to offer the base the the premium to only boxy charm subscribers so that you know people can't just join and get the boxes and then people that are already boxy charm subscribers are on a waiting list because other people already got it you know no it's for boxy charm subscribers have first dips that's that's how this is working <clears throat> so next month is the first month for the premium box you're going to have to pay for your boxy charm base box which is $25 now, plus $35 for your premium. And then, you know, you get your base box and your premium. Now, 
if you don't want to get the base box anymore and you just want the premium, <clears throat> let's see, October, November, in December, you know, that month, well, like, whenever, but you can cancel the December base box and still get the premium box and, and you know, continue it that way. But in order to make it so that, you know, people that are not boxy charm members already are just walk in and you know and then there's none left for the people that are boxy charm members you know this is how they had to do it and it, it makes sense it, it does because you know if you're if you're a charmer you should have first choice be over somebody who's not okay that, and that that's how this is working out um i was going to quit but in December is the Boxy Lux, and <clears throat> there's a Natasha Denona coming in the Boxy, no, there's a Natasha Denona, uh, not a face palette, a blush palette coming in the premium box. But I've seen some of the uh, spoilers for the Lux. I can't remember what they are offhand, but I went, ooh. So I'm undecided. I might have to wait until January to drop that base box. At least I'm not getting three, like, you know, with Ipsy. It's not, you can't get the base box, the premium, and the Lux. You're either going to get the base box or the Lux. You're not going to get both unless you have, like, two different subscriptions or you're on a PR list or something like that, you know? Um... So there, you know, there's no way to get all three of them. You're, you're going to get the premium. And if you get your Boxy Lux, then you're going to get your Boxy Lux instead of your base box. And therefore get both of those. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little confusing to explain. But, like, I totally understand it and I'm old. So it's not that difficult. But, um, yeah... Not Lux, I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, it's a lot about that. Okay, I'm not even going to mess with the prices because I know there's a, you guys watch a million people besides me, so you're going to see prices elsewhere. Um, let's start with the lip gloss. It's really, like, that's such a pretty shade. I really like that. And it is... London Iconic? Iconic London? Mm -hmm. Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. Wow. Okay, it's a plumping gloss. I was thinking about not keeping this because I've seen some of the spoilers and it is not this color. It's just clear. You know, it's just clear. But if it's a plumping gloss, I might could use it over top of this. I like a plumping gloss because, you know, I can't walk around like this all day long. <laughs> you know, I, it, it's, I like the plumping stuff. Okay, um, we have a pencil. The long pencil. I'm not used to it. It's long and skinny instead of being shorter and fatter. Um, this is... Luna by Luna Eyeliner. Okay, that's someone I'm a little bit familiar with, actually from Boxy Charm. And um, I've had like some of their eyeshadows that seem to be really decent quality. So let's take a look here. Okay, it makes a nice thin line. It's very soft. Okay, where is my... We're just going to go, like, on the waterline with this. Waterline is a tough spot. You know, because it's the waterline, it's hard to find stuff that will stick to a really wet area. 
And they might come off on the back of your hand. Beautiful. But that doesn't mean it's going to stay in your water line. I do like it though. So yeah, this is definitely a keeper because you know I'm crazy about black eyeliners. Crazy! And Lena by Lena! I have not had an eyeliner from them, so you know, okay. Um, what else have we got here? We have got, this is my product that I chose. This is the Touch and Soul. Soul and Touch, Touch and Soul. Um, basically, I haven't been able to decide if this is a primer or a moisturizer or like both. Alright, here we go. Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. What the hell is a balm? Excuse my language, but seriously. Um, where'd it go? I lost it. Okay. An ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensational, sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. Okay, so I'm thinking morning moisturizer. Okay, the whole priming thing, whatever. I'm not, I don't know. I might like, could use it for a primer because I don't have like a lot of issues with pores. And it doesn't say anything about pores. So I don't know if this would be good for somebody with like pore issues or even oily skin okay the, the whole top twists off and yeah then you got the silver part that comes off and it's hmm it's kind of a flowery scent not bad um so let's take a little off of here there we go and whoa a little goes a long way so I'll tell you that it is very hydrating and it does sink right in so um you know there's not as much in there as it looks like there's going to be um using it for a primer probably not because i've got a ton of primer i will probably use it for a moisturizer um but I will definitely, I'll definitely put it to use because, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, something that I was a little bit surprised and I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. At first I was like, not happy. And then I was like, well, you know, this could be a good thing. Um. Cogen Do. Cogen Do. K O H G E N D O. Cogen Do. Cogen Do. Cleansing Spa Water Cloths. Okay. Um. Pretty sure there's got to be a way to open this that's resealable otherwise you would pretty much have to use them all at one time and that would be like ridiculous so that feels like it's the little okay so it kind of just this pulls back let's take one out I I'm sure it says on here somewhere how many are in here, but, um, 
I'm not going to take the time to search for that information. And, and we're going to kind of push some of the air out. And try to vacuum seal it a little bit. Pick that back up. And let's find out. How she works. Okay. There is our eyeliner. Eyeliner seems to be on there pretty good. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that, that works pretty well. So, hmm. When I get done here, I'm going to, like, take off my makeup and do a mask so I'm thinking I need to put that somewhere because I need to use it okay last but not least all right so that's like that's a wasn't really impressed but if it's a plumping thing yeah I'm gonna keep it um it's a good brand this yeah I'm gonna keep because you know Okay, this, yeah, I'm going to keep because basically I asked for it. These I will definitely keep and use. So there's four things that I'm just like, yeah, you know. I mean, there's nothing in there that makes me want to jump and shout, but I'm happy with it, you know. And I got the Blushing Berries. I really wanted the sassy siennas, but you know, that's how it is. And hey, it's pink. Pink is my thing. Um, but here's the deal is the packaging is pink. The palette itself is this beautiful, shiny pink. It's not cheap either. It's like a nice, um, Thick plastic, it's got a little brush in it, it's got your little, you know, mirror protector. The mirror is beautiful. Let me see if I can show you real quick. The whole lid is a mirror. Um, I'm going to take the brush out. There's the brush. This is not a bad looking brush, but probably not something I will use. Okay, um, how many actual berry colors do you see in there? Because, I got to tell you, I see a black, uh, kind of a dark brown. Oh, look, there's a, a cherry berry, and then kind of a peachy brown, and then kind of a beige brown. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of brown in here. I'm not seeing a lot of berry. So, I'm a little berry uh, disappointed with that not sure at this time what i'm going to do with this i've been watching the reviews and you know some people are crazy about it and some people are like these are not the quality that i thought they were going to be um so i don't know i'm kind of thinking i do have the blank palette that's just you know of course this is all matte and the blank is all shimmers but the blank is all pink you know i mean it's an actual rose gold and um just different shades of actual pinkage so you know i'm i'm not sure about this i mean i don't know if i'm going to keep this or not this may end up in a future giveaway we shall see but um that was stupid i should have put it back in the box that this is like the only really iffy i mean i thought I thought I wasn't going to want that, uh, oh, and it's got all the shades on the back. I thought I was not going to want the, um, the iconic lip gloss, but then it says plumping, and I do like plumping, so, yeah, change my mind, oh well. Um, also, my box, my boxy charm box this month came with zero lord have mercy i'm just knocking everything down there was like zero uh packing stuff in here you know the little 
the little packing foam that usually comes in here yeah nothing so I'm really glad that this was wrapped well because basically that's the only thing that I think was in danger of really breaking and maybe they did that on purpose because you know they wanted to save some money or something I don't know but it just seemed awfully naked without that you know packing foam so very strange very strange um we must be about getting up on time here now where did that goat go there's a few things that i wanted to mention and what was it that oh that fell over huh um hank and henry anyone who's interested in hank and henry products and let me tell you what that mascara is to die for if you really want a good mascara that lasts long doesn't clump you can layer it it's got the the thinner side that you can use for your bottom lashes or i like to use it for like these little edges and in here you know it's hard to get to with the larger one um and it's also got the larger one uh the the eyeshadow kits are really nice really nice go into the hank and henry site take a look around see what's in there and if there's something that you really decide that you need there's actually a code um the code is boxy where is it b-o-x-y and that will give you 40 percent off 40 percent is a significant amount okay that that's a nice little chunk of change um, you know, I forget what, I know there's a shipping, like you spend X amount and you don't have to pay for shipping. I forget what that is. But even if you do have to pay for shipping, it's really not as much as you think it's going to be. Um, Mrs. Glam Marie is back. Yo, thank you, girl. Glad to see you. Everybody say welcome back. She just moved into a new house. Congratulations and moving whoa there's a chore um so you know she's all moved in now she's got a little time she's like hey i'm back and she's sending a couple of pellets our way so we can do some reviews it's from a company called mocha cosmetics like almost positive and um you know so we're gonna do some reviews on those eyeshadow palettes there's uh two of them so probably one will go in a giveaway and one will go you know add to my humongous collection <laughs> uh we will be doing a video on my eyeshadow palettes it's just not happening yet because the boxes are coming the boxes are coming <laughs> okay um Luxie, I already said, I'm undecided. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Luxie box, which will be in December. And then in January, I'm going to go down to just the premium on the Boxy Charm. Um, the box. I got a confirmation today that the box, uh, you know, they got my money and... God only knows when they'll be sending it, but as soon as that puppy gets here, you know, I'm going to wait until it gets here, because I don't want them to get confused and then, like, not send the box, but they already have my money, you know, um, and confusion, you know, confusion occurs, so, um, not thrilled with the last box, we'll compare, we'll get this one, we'll compare, but the day that box gets here, I'm going to cancel. I'm, I'm not going to continue. You know, the value is there, but there's just nothing, there's nothing really special about the box. It's a pretty boring box. So, you know, I can take that 20 bucks and put it towards my premium boxy or my Ipsy or, you know, I'm thinking about the sleigh slay glam glam slay slay box whatever it is 
Um, I'm thinking about that one. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm, I'm definitely going to cancel her once she gets here. The, the box is the done. <laughs> the done box. So, one more thing. My CVS has started carrying in store uh, Essence products. I think it's Essence. And I picked up today this, oh gosh, where's my third eye? Um, False Lash Effect Princess Lash, Lash Princess. Um, mascara. This was, I think it was $4.99. And let me tell you what, if you go to CVS, you can get some really good deals. Um, sign up for their saving card and put your email. Every week they email me a coupon. And this week I had a coupon for 40% off. So this five dollar mascara cost me i think it was less than three dollars um so i thought you know what it's not like i don't have two thousand mascaras but i have seen this all over youtube and for three bucks i'm gonna i'm gonna try it out we're gonna we're gonna see if this is everything that everybody says that it is um meanwhile though i went through and looked and they have umpteen mascaras like umpteen so like if this one doesn't fit you there's probably another one that does um okay so first impression on my boxy charm this month she's good i'm i'm a little disappointed in the eyeshadow palette but i don't think that that's boxy charms fault i mean a lot of people rave about dose of colors and that's awesome, you know. So yeah, for Boxy Charm, I think to to get a product that everyone raves about is a really, you know, a big plus. Um, it just that particular, you know, the berries that have one actual berry shade. That's not really a berry palette, but that's okay, you know. Um. It's okay. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Hey, if you're not already a subscriber, listen to the Princess Dragon. Subscribe to the channel. We upload three times a week. We do unboxings. You never know what we're going to have. We do reviews. We, we do like a first impression on our box. And then um, I come back like the next month and go like, hey, Here's what last month's box was like. Um, so obviously, we will be reviewing the boxy Lux from last month, which I'm still waiting for those brushes that they were supposed to send. And yes, I have emailed them, and they emailed me back and said, "Ooh, okay, um, yes, we'll have them there by the end of the month." And I'm like, "Hmm, that's what you told me last month." Boxy, hello. So, you know, we'll see. That That's kind of another consideration on whether or not I want to continue with the base box is if you don't send me those brushes, then why am I getting, why am I paying $50 for a box that you tell me you're going to send me stuff and then you don't send it to me, okay? The premium, I'm going to go with, but... I, I'm just, I'm not really sure at this point about, you know, the boxy locks and the, the base box. Like us. Oh, you are so, oh, the little goat. Listen to the goat. The glam goat. Hit that like button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever, whatever suits your pleasure. But if you hit thumbs down, make sure you comment below and tell us why. Remember, every Thursday is giveaway Thursday. Follow the rules. Uh, on Thursday, prize goes up. It's not every Thursday. It's like the first three Thursdays of the month. Um... The following Tuesday, 
Okay, the following Monday at midnight, no more entries. That Tuesday, we get a winner. And then by the next Monday, you need to contact me. So if you're entering in these Thursday giveaways and I don't already have your address, people, I need your email. How can I get your address if I cannot contact you? Snooks, you need to send me an email and give, get your address to me, Snooks, because I know you want something. I can't remember what it was, but it was like two weeks ago now, so you're kind of overshooting the boundaries. And then on the last Saturday of the month, I will announce the name of everyone that won, but I do plan on having all the packages wrapped and hopefully mailed out and most of the people should already have their stuff by the time that time gets here um my eyes hurt too much to try and do that all in one day so don't don't force that on me now don't do it don't do it and until the next time i hope you wake up dancing wake up dancing wake up dancing every single day Bye-bye.